Niantic and a crypto debit card company are making an AR game where you can own Bitcoin. Hmm. <clears throat> and you're going to be able to go around and tap on AR type elements and mine Bitcoin. Now, the Bitcoins that you'll be mining are called, I think they're referred to as Satoshi. So it's a different kind. It's not Bitcoin itself. It's one of these alternative ones, right? Yep. Um, it's Satoshis. They're a very small unit of currency worth right now 100, 120th of a penny. Mm. <clears throat> um, I'm super excited about this. And it's funny because when I was saying, oh, man, I'm trying to log into something that I can't get in, I actually want to see. Oh, I think I know. Um, are Satoshis running on, like, can I go buy them ahead of time? Because my guess is these are going to be like the Shib, um, Shibu Inu. Um, I don't think Ed probably won't get as big as Bitcoin or, or, or whatnot. But no, I, doubtful I could at this see point. This, I could see this hitting pretty big. Mm -hmm. And I myself have been dabbling in the Bitcoin markets. So um, I, there, there's been a credit card they've been advertising on Twit, and I tried signing up for it, but I keep kind of running into roadblocks or it doesn't load or something uh, called BlockFi. And it was something about, like, as you use the credit card, you'll earn Bitcoins or something like that. But, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely possible. Yeah. Um, so what I've been doing is every paycheck, I take a very, very small amount of money. I mean, like mm -hmm. 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not going in, in the thousands, but kind of just spreading a little bit of that around and seeing what kind of return on my investment I can get. There's a, there's a, a lot of interesting ways to do it. Um, this seems pretty interesting to me. There's, and, and what I'm seeing is I watching the TikToks. Um, you can see where I get my news. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people like creating metaverse type applications where you can actually go buy land in different metaverses. You can buy a house, you can buy. And this is more of the NFT blockchain kind of situation, right? Not, not necessarily the Bitcoin idea, right? Where, where right. this game is actually saying you're going to get a Bitcoin like currency out of this. That's actually well, going to be worth money. Well, that's what's interesting. So these people, so think of meta and how everything is going to be VR mm -hmm. and think about current gaming and how everything is kind of half pay to play half. You want the cool shirt in the game. It's going to cost you 25 tokens and you can go buy a thousand tokens for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, there's a couple companies out there that are creating metaverse type worlds that will work in vr that are based on a bitcoin like digital currency that you can invest in and then you can buy property you can buy land you can buy all kinds of stuff in these online universes and there is a cash like you can buy, sell, trade, right? So the, mm -hmm. if the game is backed by cryptocurrency, you have to convert U.S. dollar to that cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. Oh, you so, use that, so you use that cryptocurrency to then go buy something, but you want to cash out, you can sell your virtual house. <laughs> and it actually is 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 theoretically worth something. So this is yeah. a, so this is in place of like right now if you play any kind of game and you need to buy stuff in the game, you need to cash in your stuff for Mario coins or whatever the game has, right? Which really you just kind of gave your money for a digital thing that has no value. It's just a bit somewhere on a server, right? So the idea is kind of the same thing happens here, but instead of it just being you gave your money to Nintendo, Activision, whoever, uh, 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 for this digital representation, like this actually has some kind of grounding because of 
this blockchain thing. So if you own it, like if you own that house in the game, there's something more concrete that tells you you own that thing. It's not like like I keep hearing about uh, uh you know uh, somebody on another podcast talking about how how the game reset, so they lost all the donuts they bought in the Simpsons game. This wouldn't happen because it belongs in the blockchain, not not a save game on the on an iCloud or something like that, right? Yeah, but what's interesting too is it's ob- obviously it's like stock, right? It could be mm-hmm. like it could could end up like stock where the stock is going to be some equivalent to U.S. dollar. That it doesn't mean the stock doesn't tank mm-hmm. or whatnot. So you could get in and, and it could be worthless. Um, you could get in and you could be a millionaire overnight. So that's mm-hmm. where I think. I, I think are, are we past the point where people are going to become millionaires from this kind of thing? Because I feel like it's a thing where you had to get on it at the ground floor, and now everybody wants to get on it, so it's not going to be as worthwhile for you to get on board with it. I feel like it's you know the stock market version two. Okay, so like, instead I of don't, a... I don't think I think we're still I think we're still figuring it out. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's people that still joke about it. I think there's some people that have, I, I mean, Shib is not Shibu Inu, that, that coin. Like I got in and got, it was like millionths of a penny when I got into it. Mm-hmm. And so I, for like $25, I got like 4 million coin. <laughs> and that four, like that $25 is now like, 250 and oh it so peaked, it's, it's it was, so so this is would be good to get into something like this right so, I, okay. I think it's interesting now i mean it i it, it was worth way more than that at certain points i'm hanging on to it and you know figure worse comes to worse if it truly continues to tank mm-hmm. i'll just use it and buy a ticket to amc because amc is going to supposedly take the <laughs> coin as as cash so uh, so uh, yeah, it, it'd be interesting to kind of play with that. But I'm hoping I can get my BlockFi account to work here. Uh, so I, got, I would also recommend Coinbase. It's pretty, okay. It's legit, and the reason I chose them was <clears throat> if you have a Fidelity Investments account, like for 401k and um, stock and whatnot, you can actually move money between those, and then they have coin wallet that also lets you go to a couple different exchanges. So, so tell me uh, if you happen to be a uh, lifelong podcaster that has uh, that, that spent his 401k on a restaurant that didn't work uh, 10 years ago, uh, where should I start? <laughs> so, so, interesting. so here's where I would actually start. I would start with Coinbase. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how this would work because this isn't how I did it, but I think it's an interesting idea. Um, Start with Coinbase, and they have one, two, three minute um, little tutorials and little informational videos mm-hmm. that usually get you like a dollar worth of a coin or three dollars worth of a well, coin. I, they're saying that you're going to earn five dollars in Bitcoin just for getting started. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so, so go go play the market for free. Um, Mm -hmm. And then the other one that I would get into, I don't, I don't know if this one's going to go anywhere, but there's an app called Pi. Uh, P-I? P-I. And they, the app is for both um, iOS and Android. Mm -hmm. And. What's it called? Is it? So I have 500. Is it this uh, Pi Network? Pi. Pi, I see a Pi network and I see a Pi browser. Yeah, you want the the Pi network. Okay. Um, it's like a purple icon. Yeah, the Pi browser has like a similar icon as well, so I'm kind of curious. So we'll go and download. But this both is of those. this is um, you pretty much tap a button every 24 hours and you mine. Oh yeah, that's it. You mine their coin. <laughs> yep. Okay, so so it's just like that's a low rent thing that you can hop into. Now, what about so since you've been looking at some of this. What about uh, uh, Robinhood? You can um, the the stock app. You can um, um, trade in some like Dogecoin. I think is in there. Oh, well, so but so Coinbase. You can like I have. I wish right now it, it doesn't seem to be wanting to work for me. But Coinbase. 
um, I have a, I have like a coin portfolio, mm -hmm. um, where I can buy, sell, trade. Okay. Crypto and you, but it's only like certain crypto. Like and now, like my Christmas break, I want to actually spend some time and learn how to, I don't know if I want to go to the extent of mining, mm -hmm. but I want to understand how like the different markets work, I guess you could say. Interesting. Um, how, to, how I get coin that's not offered on, how do you get coin that's not offered on Robinhood or not offered on? And then what is the actual value? What can you do with something?